time. Here goes Nairo. Nairo man is going. He's going with 4.4k left. Remember, Nairo Quintana needs to make up 30 seconds on Julian Alaphilippe. Right now, it is Alaphilippe's virtual leader's jersey. Nairo Quintana wants Alaphilippe to work. Well, Alaphilippe's not going to work, Nairo, I'm afraid. Julian Alaphilippe is going to take the victory if he can just stay a few seconds ahead. Who's going to take the stage victory, though? Well, we did say at the very beginning of the day, if he does have something left in his legs and he feels like he's coming into some kind of form, it could be a day for him. It definitely could be a day for this man, Nairo Quintana, with Matthias Skelmers, who's also in that group. They are both 25 seconds down on Filippo Gala, 23 seconds down on Julian Alaphilippe. Alaphilippe and Sosa have joined together and they might work together. Ivan Sosa, who's the movie star right at the top of your screen, is our reigning champion. He doesn't have any chance of retaining his title, but he will be trying to reach his compatriot, Nairo Quintana. Much excitement as well in this group that you're looking at right now. Trek Sigafredo have three riders in this group. Alaphilippe is shaking his legs. He's got cramp. He's nowhere. No, Alaphilippe is all done. I think Alaphilippe is done. He's going he's gonna to jump onto the back of these guys. Uh, he's onto this second group, which is fighting it out for podium positions. And let's see what our two young riders can do. This is going to be a fascinating battle as well for the podium places. Matteo Jorgensen against Matthias Skelmers. Kilometer or so, they've gone through the Flamme Rouge, of course. But he needs to try and push. I don't think Alaphilippe's got anything left. What has Jorgensen got and what has Skelmers got? That's the big question here. What's number three? you're looking out for, and number 36. Number 36, and Jorgensen just sits behind him as Nairo Quintana comes into the victory. Absolutely no doubt about it now. We are on 300 metres for Quintana, and we will set our stopwatch. Remember, with the time bonus as well, Quintana is looking like he's going to take overall victory. It's going to take something extraordinary in the last few hundred meters from Julian Alaphilippe and I don't think it's going to happen. We're going to have a column. We're going to have the last two winners of this race finishing first and second on the final stage. Nairo Quintana after four hours and 23 minutes of racing comes over the finish line with his hands in the air and we start the stopwatch on Julian Alaphilippe. Jorgensen is getting left behind by Skelmers but he's staying on his wheel. Sosa thinks he's got second, but he's going to get overtaken. Here comes Skelmers. Skelmers with Jorgensen right on his wheel. Has Jorgensen got anything to go over? He has not. Here we have con uh, confirmation. 37 seconds, the gap between Quintana, Skelmers and Jorgensen. It is Quintana. Alaphilippe keeps his place on the podium, in second rather. And Skelmers, as I said, has made it onto the podium. Brilliant work by the 21-year-old uh, Trek Segafredo rider.